So, what's up guys? How do you do? Welcome to Nation Program Users TV. We'll continue with the Java Swing tutorials and in this class I'm going to give you guys a detailed introduction to JList. Then we're going to write a simple example at the end. So, first introduction to JList. This is what we're talking about. If you talk about a JList, basically we're talking about a Swing component that will display a list of objects and it also allows the user to select one or more items. So they are just like list view in other programming languages like C sharp in that it they basically allow us to represent lists of items. So first let's start by looking at the API definition for the JList. Well JList is defined in the javax.swing package. Okay, then of course we come right if we come you can see the package javax.swing now it also it's generic it's actually a generic class and it also inherits from the javax.swing.j component j component is an abstract class that acts as the base class for all the swing components except the top level swing containers so we come right here we have it public class jlist as you can see is taking in of course it's actually a generic class of course a concrete class also and as you can see it's extending the javax.swing.j component and it's actually implementing two interfaces the scrollable as well as the accessible so with the scrollable interface this is basically an interface that will provide information to a scrolling component okay for example you can use a scrolling component like the j scroll pen and also it does implement the accessible uh, interface also or as an interface which is the main interface for the accessibility package. Then let's see how to add data to JList. Well, of course, while to add data, you actually don't, normally you don't append data directly. Instead, you use a separate model, okay? Uh, that is like a list model or a default list model. Then the model becomes responsible for maintaining the contents of the JList. However, if you want to render items from just a simple string array or a vector, you can just pass the array in the JList constructor then the JList is automatically going to build for you the list model now for example you can just come right here string array data then you have the mercury venus okay all the planets there then JList my JList equal to new JList then of course we can then append okay we just pass in the data and that's it that's all you need to do however of course you can also work with the list model okay majority of the time because you're going to be using different collections uh, rather than just a simple array so we can use the list model okay the list model does define methods that you can actually use to manipulate our data we can search data we can insert delete etc so we can insertiate the model in the following way of course default list model default list model equal to new default list model then default list model is actually a class a concrete class that is defined in the javax.swing package okay as well so once we've done that and then you can actually loop through our items and then add of course the items in our default list model so get items okay dot stream dot for each we're using the functional um, operation we're using functionally right here okay the java 8 way of looping then of course we're going to loop through say the star then default is model dot add element then we add that particular star so we're going to look at a full example don't worry about it so then of course we can then set the list model to our jlist instance uh, actually jlist uh, uh, instance here via the set model method so we come my JList the set model, then we pass in the default list model. So let's come look at a simple example. In this example, we're going to populate a JList using a default list model. Then we're going to see how to handle the item clicks for our JList and then show the selected item, of course, in our um, show it in a J option pen dialog. So let's go do that one. So I'll use NetBeans. Now, if you don't want to use NetBeans, of course, if you don't want to use the designer, you can just copy paste the code that we're going to attach, of course, in the description, then paste them in whatever ID you're using. So if you're using the designer, go ahead, come, add a, a JList, 
from right here here is the list j list then of course i've actually put in a pen and then set the background color to green that's all i have right here then of course if you come just right click your j list then come to the events then come to this list selection then double click this value changed if you do that one then of course and we come to our main right here you can see that is going to generate for us the my j list value change as you can see right here okay otherwise the other things this code right here is actually designer generated so we're going to add our own code so what we're going to do first and foremost we're going to define the array array that is going to act as a data source is a string array it's going to contain for us some of the uh, largest stars in the universe as you can see then once we've defined the array we're going to instantiate the default list model which of course is going to be our list model then of course inside the main method after the niche components we're going to invoke this dot bind data so bind data we come create the method inside this method we're going to loop through the arrays right here and as you loop through it we're going to add elements to our default list model so default list model dot add element then we add the star of course you can just pass in the stars string array right here to our j list but of course you want us i want to show us of course uh how to i want to show you guys how to use the default list model so you can see it has this particular add element and then you just pass the star that you want to add then of course we come and say my j list the set model then we pass in the default list model then of course the next thing so the next we're going to come to my value my j list value change right here the first thing is that we're going to show our message dialog when a value of course the selected value changes in our j list so j option pen dot show message dialog root pen then my j list dot get selected value now this right is the title of our dialog then this is the type of dialog and get selected value will give us the selected item that's all we need to do press shift plus f6 okay to run our project and here you can see we have our nice j list so if i come for example click the item that you want as you can see it's able to show me the star that we've actually selected so guys working perfectly our j list right here go ahead like the video share it make sure you guys subscribe to our channel program users tv we're doing tutorials on a daily basis you don't want to miss them out Take care, I'll catch you in the next class.